New in Studio Artist 5 are vector shaped brushes that can be used for mosaics as well as other kinds of painting in Studio Artist. This video will be showing you how to use these shapes in a mosaic painting. First, we will go to the paint synthesizer and choose an auto painting preset in the vector mosaic category called Chevron and Squares. So let's go to the editor and see how this is made. These patterns are made in the vector output panel in the editor. This particular pattern is coming from the pattern option. Let's try a different one, the shape rectangle grid. This option has a pattern shape associated with it and is currently using a circle. You can change that to various different shapes and you can also make the grid size larger or smaller. I'm going back to the original shape. The diamond figure setting has several different kinds of diamond shapes, and each number represents a different kind of diamond shape. You could also change the size of the shapes here. The grid background is actually a shadow type. This preset is using center cast, which is filling the whole tile. If we turn it off, you'll see that we only have the diamond pattern. There are a lot of different shadow types that you can use. Let's try an extrude. It looks like this, and you can change the distance as well as the blend. Next, I will try an extrude, diffused, and raised, and I will adjust the distance. All these shadow types are new to Studio Artist 5, and you can get some really interesting looks with them. Next, I want to talk about coloring. There are two different color sources, one for the diamond pattern and one for the shadowing background. The diamond pattern is using the vector color option here, which is set to fixed color 1. To change that, just toggle to the Fixed Color panel in the editor. Right now it is using a color saturation setting, which is why the colors are bright, but the colors are still trying to follow the source image colors. If I change it to color, it will match the source image colors. So let's try a few more. Let's try colorizing with the color palette. That will be using these colors from the palette. So now if we go back to, to vector output, the shadow, which is the background here, is using this cast shadow color option. As you can see, it's set to color, so it's pointing to the paint color source panel. So to change the colors, I'm going to switch over to the paint source color panel. Right now it's just set up to use a source image colors. Um, so I'm going to change it to the palette colors just like we did for the diamond pattern. And if you want to save this particular palette with this preset, make sure that save palette color is turned on. Now I will try another option by choosing opponent and now it's painting the opponent colors of the source image. You can try any of these color options. I'm just going to change this preset back to the default. The other thing I want to show you how to do is to create an outline of these shapes. I'm going to choose black in the vector rim color and it's going to outline the diamond shape. You can also choose rim size to make the outline thicker or thinner. You have a lot of different coloring options here. I'm going to show you one more thing here in the vector output. I'm going to turn the pattern and outline options off and now this mosaic will just be flat. Then I'm going to choose the dual region option and choose banded. It'll give this effect. You can make more or less bands here. And the last thing I want to do, which we talked about in the last video, is that you can further change the region shapes in path shape by choosing options in the region pattern type.
So those are the different types of vector shapes that you can check out in Vector Output and Pass Shape. Play around with these and see what you can come up with.